Right guys, so we're back. I've been wondering what to do for this video for quite a while. Um, and exactly what to tell you guys, but this video is going to be about my running costs, as you can tell from the title. I might be down there somewhere. Um, I know a lot of people looking to buy this car will be interested in the running costs, or some people might just be interested just to have a laugh at it, <laughs> just to think why the, people, why the fuck do people buy that car kind of thing, but... So yeah, I'll, um, I'll run you through it. I won't be telling you how much I paid for a car because I've done that in my finance advice um, video. So if you want to know about how much I'm paying and um, how I did it, go and have a look at that video. But in this video, I'll be doing, well, I'll be letting you know like running costs, like for the fuel, the brakes, the tyres, oil, and so on, and things like that. So we get started. I'll start with fuel. Um, obviously it's going to vary for everyone and how much you use it and how, how you drive your car. I'll, first thing I'll tell you is I drive it quite quite hard most of the time. Um, so I drive it quite hard most of the time. I average 17 miles to the gallon and I fill up about twice a week. So, it all, like I said, it all depends on how much you use your car, but that's how much I use mine. I, well, I, sorry, I, I feel, if I fill up full tank, I get about 250 miles in a full tank. And I always fill up with um, V Power as well, Shell V Power, and that costs about £70 to fill up near enough from about 10, 10 miles left in the tank, which I never really take it down that low, but if I have one up once and um, it costs £70 to fill up, so that gives you an idea on what it's like on the fuel. So next thing I'll talk about is the brakes, the pads and the discs. So the discs, as most of you will know, are obviously really big. Um, you can't actually, like I said, I've said it in one of my other videos before as well, you can't actually get a space saver wheel in your boot to fit over uh, the discs on the RS3, so you don't get a spare wheel, wheel with the RS3 and you can't get one anyway. So yeah, the disc brakes, from, like if you're swapping light for light, the same ones that are on already, they're £320 per disc, per disc that is. So they're not cheap at all. Um, and the brake pads are £340. But so the, all the brakes are things you need, you know what I mean? But you need to make sure you're getting decent quality brakes because if you're not getting decent quality brakes, they're not going to be good enough for the car and um, stand up to the performance that your car gives out, kind of thing. So, yeah, that's the brakes. And I would recommend either swapping them with the exact same ones or improving them. And if, if anything, don't ever get um, worse quality than what are already on the car. So, next thing we'll talk about are the tyres. I don't know how often you'll have to change the tyres, because obviously it'll be down to how we drive and everything, like I said, once again, um, and what roads you drive on. Um, and obviously I'm only three or four months into ownership of my RS3 as well, so I don't, I don't know how long they'll last. But the tyres that come on the Audi RS3s are Pirelli P0s, um, and they're about £200 each, just below £200 each. So they're not cheap either. Um, but you, you've got to expect things not to be cheap when you're buying now the RS3, obviously. Um, what I am going to do, though, when I do get some new wheels, is get the Pilot Sport 4s, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. The, obviously, well, I've looked into them, and they're a lot better on wear, so they'll last a lot longer. You get better grip in dry and grip, better grip in wet, so um, it's definitely worth getting them. Cause apparently, they're cheaper as well. I haven't looked into the price, but someone told me they're cheaper, so... It would make a lot of sense if you just get the Pilot Sport 4s. Um, the next thing is oil. I haven't actually checked my oil on the car yet, but I've heard a lot of people say that these cars use quite a lot of oil, and um, it burns it away quite quickly. So I will be checking, but I've looked into what oil's in and what um, oil I should get, and it's Castrol Edge Professional. I do believe that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and for one litre of that, it's twenty pound. So, it's not it's not cheap, but you've got to expect it when you buy an Audi RS3. Before I got the Audi RS3, I didn't know what it was going to be like on um, MPG, how much fuel it would use, or anything like that. 
I just won't expect it to be expensive anyway, you know what I mean? So I'm not shocked by the running costs at all. Um, you just got to be ready for it when you're buying a car of that. Like with the uh, RS Badge on or the AMG or the M performance, anything like that, you've got to expect um, really bad fuel, really bad miles to tank. Um, miles be on, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's the main ones really. One last thing I will say is the washer fluid as well. That's It seems to be going down really, really quick. And I don't understand why. Like, I don't even use it much at all. I um, maybe use it about 10 times, 15 times, and it's, it's run out of um, washer fluid. I mean, I know it does, um, it washes the headlights as well, so well, it's obviously going to use a bit more fluid, but it's it's a bit daft. I don't know if it's because the tank is small, what it um what you fill up for washing fluid or what, but it's it's really bad on that. Um, and obviously that's gonna vary on how much you spend on that because it depends which which you buy, how many times you use it, if you use it often, and what the weather's like, um, near where you are driving the car. So I can't really tell you how much you're gonna spend on that either. But yeah, I um. Don't expect an Audi R3 to be cheap when you're running it because it's not at all. But apart from that, there's not really any other running costs that I can think of. Obviously, if you get a cracked windscreen or anything like that, it's just that's just. I won't really class that as a running cost, you know what I mean? But it's going to be expensive even if, if you, even if you have to fix a body part from scratch or something like that. Especially if you get a special paint like I did, the Crystal Effect paint. I mean, you can get pearl effects as well, which costs even more, but yeah, you've got to think stuff like that. Well, with the crystal effects, it's not so bad because it's obviously a lot tougher paint anyway, but you've got to think, when you're buying it, you've got to look into all the problems that you could come up with. So if you're getting real expensive paint, it's going to cost even more to fix, so you've got to think ahead of um, the time that you're buying it. But that's all that I can really think of for running costs. If you've got any questions yourself, put in the comments below. Sorry this video has been real short but I think that's I think that's everything on running cost. Um I think I've said everything about running costs anyway in this video, so yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you um need any other questions answered, if I need to answer all your questions. And apart from that, I'll see you next video guys. Please leave a like, comment of it as always, and subscribe. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.